I'm creating this video in order to show people how to get some of the new configurations that Betaflight has available for Spectrum. So first, what you're going to need is you're going to need the Spectrum SPM 4649T telemetry race receiver. You'll also need either a Unifier Pro or a Tramp or any one of the new VTXs that has smart audio or Tramp telemetry availabilities. And then an F3 or F floor flight controller. I'm currently using the Betaflight F3 flight controller because that's what I like. I also have a um, Joshua Barwell flight controller as well and a couple others, but my main flight controller is the Betaflight F3. So the first thing you want to do is you want to configure and load Betaflight version 3.3 or whatever the latest version is after 3.3 that you're using when you watch this video. Then you want to connect your spectrum receiver the following way. You want to run a wire to the ground. You want to run the power to 5 volts. And then the blue cable which is a bi-directional cable you want to run that to the TX for whatever you are you're using after that you want to connect up your whatever um, smart audio VTX you're using the way you should do it ground to ground power to power whether whether it's 5 volts or, or RAM power you want to connect the smart audio or tramp telemetry line to the TX for whatever you are you're using and then you want to go into beta flight and configure so once in beta flight you want to go to your ports tab and you want to set whatever you are you connected your receiver to to serial RX the other thing is you want to set the UART what you connected your VTX to and the peripherals to whatever VTX you're using. Then you want to go to your configuration tab. And down, you want to scroll down in the configuration tab and set the receiver to serial based receiver. And then under that, you want to set the protocol to Spectrum Bidirectional SRXL. You want to turn on telemetry and then you want to save and reboot. And then you want to go to your receiver tab and obviously set the channel map to Spectrum and the RSSI channel to AUX5 or whatever free channel you have coming from your Spectrum radio. You want to save that and then you want to exit out. Then go back into beta flight and go into your OSD and I just like to set up my OSD to have what I got in there right now. And here's where you can put your RSSI value, uh, value wherever you need to place that. Save that and exit. What you want to do is go into our spectrum radio. And we want to go to the telemetry tab in the functions list. And we want to set up telemetry for auto config. So when you select auto config, it should bring all the telemetry that your radio is receiving into this tab. 
one of the things you'll have to do is you'll have to set one of the empty tabs to text gen and then make sure that's active and that should give you everything that you need in the telemetry table then you'll go back into your main screen for your radio and just use the scroll wheel and scroll left or right and this will show you all the telemetry that you're receiving from the flight controller via beta flight and as you see you have the beta flight OSD setting in your radio at this point and you can go in there and see all your PIDs or change your PIDs or do this do that it's just pretty simple I mean you still have the same functionality in your OSD but this is just in case you don't have your goggles on or something like that it's basically the same setup that you would have via the FR Sky Lewis script and the FR Sky radio itself it's just slightly different Now we can go back into the main screen and go down to where it says VTX setup and now we can see our VTX channel and all and all the goodness of the power and all that. So we have the ability in here to change the channel just like we do via the Lua script in an FR Sky radio or like you could do via the OSD. So all you do is so select the channel that you want, select the power, and then you hit send and it changes your channel. And you can do that back and forth to whatever channel you want and you're good to go. See, you can see that you have your RSSI set up and all your features are good to go. So let's fly. Thank you everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. I created it just because no one else out there had a video that explained how to set this up for spectrum and since this is a relatively new feature for us I wanted everybody to have an easier time setting it up than I did when I tried to figure out how to set it up down in the video description there will be links to some of the Betaflight github information on the uh, VTX and other information that may be useful for you thank you Hopefully everybody has a good day of flying, and remember, just have fun.